You are listening to the FTWpodcast.com, where we talk about wrestling in all of its laughable glory. Here's a clip from this week's episode. All right, time for our Slammiversary predictions. Uh, just real quick, we're going to go through, discuss it a bit, and then figure out who we pick for the uh, for the victory. Matt Morgan versus Scott Steiner, Crimson versus Samoa Joe, Bully Ray is taking on AJ Styles in a last man standing match. Uh, British Invasion is taking on James Storms and excuse me, James Storm and Alex Shelley for the tag titles. Angelina Love is going up against Mickey James for the Knockouts Championship. Surprise, surprise. Jeff Jarrett versus Kurt, Ang- Kurt Angle in the quote final battle. My ass. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Anderson versus Sting for the heavyweight championship. Uh, do you buy? Okay, first off. Let's just go. Let's just go straight to the top. Matt Morgan versus Steiner. Do you think this match has been built up properly? No. No. Not no. at all. No. It's got no. Scott Steiner in it. How well could it be built up? The man's incoherent half the time. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> point. You can say the town's true. name a few times. <laughs> oh, don't make him a cheap pop foley. Yeah, oh, God, cheap pop foley. Awesome. That'd be awesome. Uh, all right. Well, okay. Fine. And then who do you think is going to win? Matt Morgan or Scott Steiner? Rob. Uh, Morgan. Morgan. Rob's with Morgan. Uh, Scott? Uh, Matt Morgan. They need to bury Scott Steiner. All right. Joe? Morgan? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with Morgan. All right, so how's this gonna work? Are all Scott's predictions gonna go for Kevin? Nope. Kevin doesn't get any. You know what? No, Scott gets his own because I swear if he starts winning these, it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I do horribly with TNA predictions, so I doubt it. It doesn't matter. So so does so does Kevin. Uh, oh, there right. you go. There you go. Well, Kevin does awful with both sides. Uh, all right. Uh, Crimson versus Mojo. Do you see this match as Joe passing the torch to Crimson, or do you see Joe breaking the streak and retaking his dominant presence that he used to have? Um, Rob. Uh, I think. Uh, Samoa Joe is going to break the streak, and I, th- I think this is going to launch him back up into the uh, the main tier because uh, I think that right now TNA really needs Samoa Joe to retake his spot at the okay. at or near the top. Okay. Uh, what about you, what do you guys think, Scott Joe? No, I I think this is TNA's Bill Goldberg, man. They're going to ram this streak down our freaking throats until we're entirely too sick of it to continue. So I, I think Crimson's going to win this. Joe, you taking Joe? Uh, um, so- actually, I am taking a no contest. I don't think either one of them is going to win. Really? They're going to draw this out. This is going to be a double DQ or a double count out. Okay. Uh, Joe for the no contest. Fair enough. Um, Bully Ray versus AJ Styles in a last match I ever want to see stand. I'm sorry, last man standing match. <laughs> oh, sorry. That slipped out a little bit. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even want to discuss this. Who, who do you guys, who do you want to win, Joe? AJ Styles. Is anybody going to take Bully Ray? I no. am. I Wait, am. I'm stupid what? enough to go with don't, Bully Ray. And you know what? I think Scott's smart for doing that. It's just all the signs. You're all the, not all... for not doing it? No, no. I'm tr- I'm going with the maybe TNA is going to do what the fans think should happen and what general storyline promotion should do. The logical course of events. Right, but we know that TNA doesn't, so it's it's an easy gamble for Scott to pick that and possibly be right. I mean, how many times did Bully Ray win matches where we were like, really, what the fuck is going on? Damn, Joe, you're like one step away from giving us odds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for adding credibility to my pick. I, 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 Dave and I really didn't go through that much thought process. So I was just like, it's Bully Ray. He's a heel. They're, they're just, he wants ridiculous matches. I can just see them winning this and pushing this storyline even further into the ground. So. I love that. Thank you for leading credits to my, normally just from the seat of my ass. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Joe. Uh, tag Pretty titles. Much. British, I'm sorry, go on. No, pretty much. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, tag titles. British Invasion versus James Storm and Alex Shelley. Uh, anything you guys want to bring up for this one? Gun money. Yes, gun money. Gun money it is. Uh, so, uh, okay, so Scott's taking gun money. Uh, Rob's taking gun money. Joe, what about you? Jesus Christ. <sighs> this, uh, you know what? I'm going to go British Invasion. Wow. Okay. 
Wait, you know what? I should pick British Invasion 2 because I got to hedge my bets because I'm still in second place. Am I still in second place? No, I'm tied for second, aren't I? I don't know what the fuck you are. Just... No, I am in second. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Scott, if you get these right, you're actually doing better than our producer. Woot. <laughs> if you win this. I really hope you do. Uh, Angelina Love, Knockouts Championship. Angelina Love, Mickey James. Are you surprised that Angelina has had little to no interaction with Mickey James going into the pay-per-view? Uh, not really. I mean, I think this is one of those things where the storyline kind of works. I mean, they've structured it where, you know, zombie Angelina is now going into quote unquote, defend uh, winter's honor. Um, I think that kind of builds up the match. I would have liked to see some interaction between Angelina and Mickey James to kind of build it up even farther because that's kind of a lane, uh, base for a title match and a pay-per-view match besides, but it's better than some of these matches, which have almost had like uh, TNA going, well, we got Scott Steiner. We got Matt Morgan. What the fuck? Let's put him in the ring. Okay. That should be a great match, right? All right. Uh, so who are you taking? Angelina Love or Mickey James? I'm going to go with Mickey James. Mickey James. Rob. Okay. Todd takes Mickey James. Uh, Joe, Scott? Go ahead, Scott. Uh, I'm just going to go with Mickey James. It's kind of the easy one. There's just no storyline to this. So there, it would be kind of an insult to Mickey James to have her lose the title in that situation. So Joe? I'm going with Mickey. I'm going to go with Mickey because Kevin can't be here to call that one. Well, it's not like he likes Mickey James or anything. Um, unfortunately, I have to go with Mickey James, even though Rob is going to rack up an insane amount of points with that one. Oh. Yes, I am. Oh, God. Uh, Jeff Jarrett versus Kurt Angle in the final battle, which I pretty, I'm predicting this is going to be like Highlander, where you think it's going to be the final battle, but there's going to be like 18 sequels and a TV show. <laughs> Wasn't uh, Kurt Angle's gold medals on the line with this one? Yes. Was it? Yeah. I, no, I thought this was the hair one, or did they already do that? No, I think uh, Kurt Angle's gold medals is on the line for this one because yes. I remember uh, Jeff Jarrett doing a promo that he was going to hang it near his bed or some shit like that. So he can look at him when he's banging Kurt Angle's ex-wife. Yes. Oh, oh that's terrible. Lee All awesome. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're going to do it, man, go full bore. All right. Uh, who, you ta- who are you taking, Rob? Jared or Angle? I'm going to go with Angle. All right. Uh, Scott. You know, I'm actually going to go with Jarrett because I doubt this is the final battle, and I can totally see Angle going, oh, well, this isn't final because I want my medals back. So I see Jarrett winning. All right. Joe? I'm going to go with Angle only because what's more important than his ex-wife and his children? His gold medals. And his dignity. And his dignity. The gold medals. He hasn't had his dignity in TNA for years. Why would he defend it now? He hasn't yet. He sacrificed his dignity when he signed a contract with TNA, pretty much. I yeah, mean, he sacrificed that. his dignity when he grew that hobo beard he's got going on. Jeff, yeah, I mean, what's I, up I mean, with that? <laughs> Jeff, Jeff the man has, looks scruffy. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett has ripped every shred of dignity Kurt Angle has had away from the man. Except for the medals. So, you know what? I'm gonna, I should take Jeff Jarrett for that reason alone, but I'm just going to go with Angle because I want this to end. Uh, Mr. Anderson versus Sting for the heavyweight championship. Uh, do you buy the Anderson as championship material based on his work over the last four weeks? And is he the right guy to be champion of TNA? Uh, Jeff Jarrett can do it, or not Jeff Jarrett. If Jeff Hardy could do it, why not? I mean, he put an even further subpar performance, and he was champion for God knows how long. So, see, see, I would have, I would say yes. If Mr. Anderson were coming out and giving promos as himself, but he's coming out and giving promos as Sting uh, from the 80s, and to me, it's just getting very old, and it's uh, got me wondering if, I don't know, if Anderson's starting to run out of material or something. Um, it, It makes me very unsure about Anderson's chances, even though that I drafted him and he's on my team. I think Sting's going to retain. Sting's going to retain. All right, so Rob's taking Sting. What about you, Joe? Um, I say Sting's going to retain because while Anderson is good on the mic, in the ring he just hasn't, hasn't seemed to grow. It hasn't seemed to have grown. I don't know if it's the people he's working with in general 
um, who haven't been able to help push him more creatively in the ring. Um, he just, he seems to me more sloppy than Sin Cara trying to do a finisher. All right. Uh, Scott, who are you taking? Uh, I'm going to go with Anderson. Uh, I think Sting's just had the Good title time. for so long and he needs to drop it. And as sloppy as Anderson may be, the man's still entertaining. And I could totally see Sting dropping the title to Anderson. So I'm going to go with Anderson. Exactly, Scott. My point, exactly. I'm taking Anderson for all those reasons. Plus, this is the only one where I can differ with Joe, and I'm betting I'm black. That I'm going to tie with him, except for here, and then I'll get the point, and I'll do it, because I gotta. I can't hedge my bets that much. Well, you've heard our thoughts, but now we want to hear from you. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and even join us live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. at the FTWpodcast.com.